Hey babies, what's up? Are you ready to become the most beautiful you? I certainly am. Summer is coming. It's already spring. It's time. So since it's already springtime and we all want to be super hot and look super beautiful, have the best body, have the best skin, have the best makeup and everything, like clothes, because you know how it is in summer vacation. You're gonna go on photo shoots and you're gonna meet new people and you're gonna have a summer romance or something, you know? So you wanna be the best. Last year, um, with quarantine and all, I actually had, had a lot of time to work on myself and work out and work on my skin and everything. So I got really high up the way to becoming my dream self and then I ruined my skin. It was really really bad. I'm gonna make a video about it alone. Like right now it looks a lot better. I ruined my skin completely. I got a job so I didn't work out because I didn't have time. I, I did have time but I was too lazy to do that after work. And now I decided that this is the time that I'm gonna get into that <laughs> and we can do it together or something. Join me! We can do it, sister. Yeah. Okay, so I made a list of stuff that I want to change about myself and stuff that would help me to get into that place I want to be at. <laughs> you can make your own list. You should make your own list. You should write down everything that you don't like about yourself, stuff that you would like to change and get into it. But I wrote mine. I can share it with you. And also I made like some steps that you should take before doing that. First thing I'd say is you would want to declutter. Get rid of everything you don't need in your life. I have this whole thing full of notebooks with like brands I wrote when I was 13 and like I got into it and I was like do I really need this in my life? Do I need this energy in my life? Do I want to rant? Do I not want to become something more fresh and more positive and happier? You would like to get rid of everything that would remind you of times that you felt worse than right now. Right? Clothes you don't like clothes you don't wear clothes that make you feel bad with your body stuff that are too small or too big for you or don't look good on you you don't want that you don't need that just sits in your closet and takes place for clothes that you would want to wear right so we get rid of that or you could also take all those stuff and try to style it another way because I had a lot of um, button-up shirts I used to love button-up shirts and then I realized that it makes me look really bad it makes my body weird and <laughs> I didn't want to wear that anymore but I didn't want to get rid of them because they're really good and they're really nice like quality materials and everything so I found a way to style it differently like this wearing a sweater or something like that you can tie it up you can do you can try different stuff with your clothes, you can also cut it, you can sew it, you can change it completely or you can just find a different way to wear it. A dearly add a nice bag, you know how much does a bag give your confidence. I didn't have a bag, I had only I only had backpacks for my whole life and then one day I saw a bag, a handbag, and I was like how bad would I look with that? And I just took it, I held it in my hand and I was like fuck. That actually looks good. <laughs> I bought it and you know how confident I feel right now because it makes every outfit like 10 steps better than how it looked with the backpack. So I would really tell you to go to the stores and find stuff that make you feel a lot better with yourself, make you feel prettier, make you feel more confident. Get into your clothes, get into your accessories, get into your jewelry. You can make jewelry. This is the first step. First of all, wear what you want to wear, not what you have. Also at home, you don't have to wear the ugliest trainers that you have. You can wear better quality trainers, you can wear better leggings so you feel better even when you're in your own home. So the second thing that is looks super important for me, like this is what made me go through the whole transformation I want to take about myself is working out. I want to make a different video about working out because I have a lot of things to say. Coming from a person that hates sports and hates working out, I don't like it at all. I'm not enjoying it that much. <laughs> it's actually fun after some time, but in the beginning it was like I was suffering. I hated it. I didn't want to do it at all. But it does give you such good effects and such good feelings about your body. You you don't have to do it to lose weight. You can do it just to be healthy and to have the muscles that you would want to have to feel better about yourself and a lot more confident. So I would say you should work out honestly every day. I know you shouldn't do a workout every day, like a strong workout every day. So what I want to do is I want to work on my belly, my butt and my like arms and the back. When I have time I do all of these and then when I don't I do like just a small workout like quick belly or like just yoga or something like that. Just to move a little bit around. So working out would be one of the biggest steps into becoming perfect. <laughs>
Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna divide it into parts because like I have stuff that are about my face, about my hair, about the rest of my body, confidence and stuff like that. These are the things that I want to change about it. myself. You can choose whatever you want for yourself. You can take what I'm saying and like make it fit you. Alright, the next thing is you should stretch your neck. We all have that ability and it's normal, it's okay, it's fine. You're gonna have it, everyone has it. But we can get rid of it or make it smaller or less noticeable. We cry about it, we don't have to run about it. You can actually go and do something about it. Um, so what I like to do, you can see it's not as bad as it used to be. I still have my side profile, but I can show you. I didn't have like, I didn't really have a chin. And then I worked on it and it looks a lot better, I think. So what you want to do is, first of all, hold your mouth. If you close your teeth, it looks a lot better than if you would have your jaw open. It feels a little weird at the beginning, but when your body gets used to it, if you do it all the time, your body gets used to it and then it just comes naturally and you walk around like this naturally and it changes the whole structure of your face. And another thing that I really like to do, my mom taught me that actually, uh, I would like to stretch my neck to both sides, like that, and then to the back. And then I take my jaw and push it up. So if I take my head up and then I push my jaw up, a couple of times it really stretches this part and the neck so the skin goes like backwards and then it's more smooth it looks a lot better I know that not all of us would want to shave would want to depilate their hair some of us like their body hair I do not and I think the only thing that actually helps me get rid of this problem because shaving is not enough for me because it grows back too quickly and it looks really really bad in my opinion in my opinion don't come at me I just it's just me I don't like it. um the only thing that I actually like is laser decolates so I did go to a saloon for some time or treatment and then coronavirus started so they closed the place and now uh, I can't do that I'm in a different country I used to live in Poland I lived in Poland for three years now I'm back in uh, my home country with my family where I don't have a close place that I would trust that much with my body and also I don't have that money but my mom bought a machine she bought it for my sister my sister doesn't like it my mom uses it and now I use it and I think it's really really nice it, it is painful I don't like it I don't like the feeling of it it feels painful Painful. It is itchy for a couple of days later. My skin feels very irritated for some time, but I can see the results So I would rather suffer for this couple of minutes when I do the laser treatment and then not have hairs that much than just not suffer the pain and then shave every single day and have my skin still irritated um, Yeah, so I would really recommend that but everyone can do whatever they want to do, right? I prefer the laser treatment. You can shave, you can wax, you can leave your hair to be whatever you want But this is something for me that I I would really want to share with you my personal opinion okay <laughs> so with uh, the depilation comes peeling and moisturizing all the body okay because we're gonna get to the face soon but now we're on the body when you laser depilate or depilate in any other way your skin gets really really dry you have to use a moisturizer a body balm body cream whatever you want but you have to add some moisture to that skin I don't know how about you but I'm feeling itchy if I'm dry I really really need that and also your skin gets like older if you don't moisturize because it gets dry and then it gets like wrinkly it's disgusting we want, we want to moisturize and peel like, we get rid of the dead skin cells we don't want them on our body we got rid of all the bad clothes and all the bad stuff that we had we also want to get rid of all the bad skin that we have right okay so this was all about the body that I had let's get into the face I had a really bad skin for my whole life and then I went to the cosmetologist and it's the only thing that actually helped the only thing that actually changed everything about my skin and I still have scars acne scars on my skin but it looks a lot better I look a lot more radiant and I don't have pimples anymore I had so many I look bad I looked really really bad and I didn't have anything that could change it I used prescribed creams I used everything actually nothing helped except of the cosmetologist yeah I know that it's expensive 
and it costs, it can cost a lot. But honestly, these are stuff that you should splurge on. Your skin, your body, the way you feel about yourself, stuff like that. These are stuff that you should waste your money on. You don't have to spend it all on food and I know that you want to spend it all on food. I do. Also, I love food so much but I also want to be beautiful because this food is good in my mouth for a couple of minutes and then I just poop it out, right? And then your skin, it stays on your face, right? You're gonna walk around with that skin everywhere. You can get rid of it. Makeup doesn't hide it that well. So I would say to make your skin clear whatever way you want. If you have clear skin, <laughs> just keep it like that. I'm jealous, but just keep it going. Okay, just do whatever you're doing. Um, but if you have bad skin, I would really, really recommend you to go to a cosmetologist. Do something that will help it. Don't leave it like that. It's not worth it. You want to change it. We're changing it right now. It's the time. It's our moment. So the first time I heard about face massages, I was like, oh, sure. Like, it's probably nice, but it can't help with anything. It can't do anything. There is no way. You can actually do it at home. I found a lot of face massages on YouTube. That's what I do. I honestly just search for a face massage. And then I just do whatever the lady is doing on the video. And you can have a lot of different face massages. You can have them for acne prone skin. You can have it for um, delicate skin, for more mature skin, for anything actually. You can really choose whatever you need. I would recommend to do it. They say that you should do it every day. I wouldn't do it every day because when I did my skin got really really red and irritated. I do it around once a week or twice a week. When I do my face mask, if I do a uh, like gel face mask or um, a sheet mask, I really like it. It does help. It smooths my skin. It makes it a lot more radiant and glowy. You could use coconut oil. Um, I wouldn't recommend using any other type of oil because I don't really know anything about it. But I know that coconut oil has a lot of vitamin E and vitamin E builds the skin. If you have scars, if you have wrinkles, vitamin E really helps with stuff like that. So you could use um, you could use coconut oil for face massages. You could use the face mask that you're putting on, your moisturizer, or you could do it in the shower. Every week, I would like to have one good shower where I do everything. Like I depilate, I do a face massage with my soap, my face soap. I do the healing, whiten my teeth. This is another thing. I would like to whiten my teeth with the black powder. I don't know if it works that well, but I think it does something. I do feel like it does. You could really, really use those black charcoal, uh, either toothpaste or the powder, just the charcoal. Make sure it's just for your teeth because it can make your teeth black or something if it's not. Now your eyebrows. I didn't want to do my eyebrows for so long, literally for the whole 18 years of my life. I didn't touch my eyebrows once. I have the same eyebrows as my dad, so I didn't want to do anything with it because <laughs> like, I felt kind of connected with him uh, about it. But like once a girl in my class said like, I could do your eyebrows, it won't hard, don't worry, it's fine. But I was like, no, no, I don't want to do anything with it. I have the same eyebrows as my dad. She says, okay, you can have the same eyebrows as your dad, but like in a girl way. <laughs> so I know that some people are gonna get angry at me right now. Honestly, you can say whatever you want, but I decided after a couple of years, she's not the one that made me do that, because like after some time I started wearing makeup um, and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, I don't really like it. I don't really like it. What should I change? And I decided that my eyebrows were not going good with that makeup. I plucked them out, not all of them, just the hairs that I had not in place right here. I plucked everything up that didn't fit. And I really, really feel a lot better about it right now. I think like my face is a little bit more proportional because I don't have those huge eyebrows on my whole face. So yeah, I would really say that if you feel like something not working out in your face, you could pluck your eyebrows out. I'm not saying that you have to, you can do it if you want, okay? <laughs> okay, now let's get into our hair. Do your hair. This is a PSA. Get the haircut you want. I, I had a really, really long hair. I don't know if you remember uh, on the videos, on the first videos of this channel, you can see the hair I had. I had hair so long, it was under my bosh. And then I cut it. Look how short it is right now. I love it so much. I love it so much. It looks so good. I, I'm still having struggles with like getting it done because I don't really know how to work with it because it's so short and it, it gets wavy really easily. And I don't really know what to do with it because I don't want to straighten it all the time. But I still love it. I feel like I look a lot younger. Younger. I'm only 22, but <laughs> if you want to get a haircut and you're just scared, go for it. Whatever can happen, you're not gonna die. It's just hair, it's gonna grow back out. Do it, do it, do it. With uh, cutting your hair, you should also do scalp massages. So just whenever I do that special shower once a week. And as I said, I don't shower once a 
once a week. It's just one special shower a week, okay? I shower every day. And then there is this one special shower where I do everything that I need from this list, okay? So that's when you do a scalp massage, okay? So when you wash it, you should really go into it and scrape it and scratch it. Take your head down, brush it like that, dry it, really, really dry it. Makes all the blood from your body rush up into your scalp and make your hair grow healthier and longer and more beautiful, more glowing. It also stops your hair from falling out. I had a time that my hair was really, really falling out. I don't know why, but I think that cutting it and a lot of scalp massages every... I used to do a scalp massage every single day whenever I was brushing my hair really helped with it. Okay, so now we're getting into our nails. I don't like doing my nails. I like to have them done sometimes like for special occasions, for weddings or stuff like that, but I don't really like them painting. I feel like it doesn't go with my outfits. <laughs> I also don't feel like I don't like colorful nails and short nails. And I can't have long nails because it's not comfortable for me. But it's very important for me to cut them, to have them straight, to have all my nails the same length, and to have them really healthy, not dirty or anything. Because I say that and it makes me cringe. It looks so bad. Even people with painted nails who have like dirt underneath. Oh my god, it's so disgusting. Okay. It's very, very important to cut your nails. Don't let them be crusty and disgusting. It's such an important step in glow up because like sometimes I see these beautiful girls with beautiful makeup and beautiful outfits and everything and they have crusty ass nails oh my gosh I can't look at that your feet nails too okay take care of your feet also it's very important to wear hand cream and foot cream okay so now we got to the point where I'm gonna talk about our mind because our mind is the most important in this whole process because if you think you're beautiful you are beautiful if you're shy and you're, you don't want to go out and you don't want to show yourself you just don't want to be there we can we sense it people sense it we feel it's kind of embarrassing i'm not gonna don't come at me okay i know how it is i know how it is i i am really shy i used to be terribly shy i could not talk at all now i got a lot better with that also because i know that i look good you should just tell yourself that okay you know you dress well you know you're working out you know your hair is wonderful you know your makeup is great just remember that you go out like that and everyone can see that too okay this is the switch in your mind that you need to do in order to actually glow up this is with the decluttering okay we take everything we don't need in our body in our uh, home in everything that we have we take everything we don't want and we throw it out now that we have the perfect body we can find inspiration on Pinterest so you know you're beautiful you know what goes good with being beautiful a beautiful outfit go search for a nice outfit on Pinterest and try to get it you can make it you can do it with stuff that you already have you can buy those stuff whatever outfits makeup meals you can get really healthy meals on Pinterest if you eat well and you sleep well it also boosts your mind because when you're full and you're not tired you feel a lot better with yourself you feel less irritated less annoyed and this makes you smile everyone that smiles are pretty and everyone want to get close to someone that is nice and smiley and not grumpy all the time the most important thing is drinking water you need to drink a lot of water what I do is I have this bottle of water and I have it with me all the time wherever I go I even sleep with it in my bag because I drink so much water water is wonderful both for your body because it washes out all the bad things for your face it washes out all the bad things from under the skin and it plumps your skin so you are not looking dull and sad and like wrinkly if you get water it fills it up you feel radiant and the last thing because we are already beautiful without the makeup okay we have the best body the best skin and the best hair we can have on top of it we could wear makeup on special occasions we don't have to do that but we can okay and now the most important thing about wearing makeup is knowing how to do that because if you wear makeup and you didn't apply it as well it ruins the whole look okay because if your skin is so beautiful naturally and then you cake makeup on it it gets crusty it gets oily it moves around and then you don't look as beautiful okay if you have free time and you want to experiment you should try different things you can watch some videos and you should try different products because sometimes 
on something that is good for someone else is not good for you. I found a foundation that I really like because my cosmetologist recommended it. Yeah, it's a drugstore foundation, but I really like it because it makes my skin glowing, radiant. It doesn't make it fat. This is the most important thing about me because my skin is so fat, but this foundation doesn't make it fat at all. So you should really experiment with different cosmetics, read whatever people say about them. We're gonna do it, okay? We're gonna get into it. This is April. Um, we have two months until summer vacation and we're gonna get into our best body in this two months. And we're gonna do it, okay, bestie? Okay, bestie? We're gonna get into it. Let's go.